Well, everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review My Father's Dragon. And this is a new animated film from Netflix brought to you by Cartoon Saloon, who is my favorite animation studio, bringing us The Secret of Kells, Song of the Sea, The Breadwinner, and Wolf Walkers, which was my number one film of 2020. Not just animated, all of them. And I was so excited to hear that we we're getting My Father's Dragon coming from Netflix. And not gonna lie, this one might be the weakest of Cartoon Saloon's films to me. It also feels like Netflix might have had some kind of influence on the more populous approach that this film takes versus many of Cartoon Saloon's other projects. Because a Cartoon Saloon film doesn't just stand out because of the 2D animation and the gorgeous animation, which this film has both of those things. It stands out because there's a different feel. There's a different weight to everything. And you do get those moments throughout this film. There's particular moments about this young boy, Elmer, who has a single mom who's trying her best to take care of him. And they have a confrontation. And there is weight to it. There is sadness to it. There is pain and regret. And you don't see that as much in a lot of mainstream studio animated films. So this film still does deliver that. It just doesn't deliver that weight throughout the whole entire film. There are definitely moments where it leans into a more populous approach of humor. A little bit more silly, dumb humor than you would ever see in another one of Cartoon Saloon's films. You could tell this might be made for a little bit younger, except there are moments where it does hit the same way that the other films from Cartoon Saloon do, and they get dark at moments and are really impactful. And this film gives me, like, up vibes in terms of, like, you have this emotional hook at the beginning of the film. Obviously, this is not the same level of emotion that that does, but it does still deliver quite a bit of emotion. And I do feel like director Nora uh, Twami was able to really hit home with a lot of the emotions here and balance a tone, which has some sillier moments, but also some heavier moments, um, especially towards the climax of this film where we have our young dragon, Borch, trying to, you know get out of his present situation, this chained up dragon, and in many ways this film leans into some of those cliches, but it's also able to avoid some of them, which leaves things open that are, I feel like are more emotionally impactful towards the end of the film. But you have a really strong cast here of Jacob Tremblay as Elmer, and you have a uh, uh, Gaten Matarazzo, who's from Game uh, from uh, Stranger Things, Dustin, he winds up playing Boris, and they have some good chemistry. Uh, Go uh, Go Shifta Farahani, who plays Elmer's mother, I think she does a great job. There's some moments where she really has to carry some serious weight in her performance, and you have. The, the likes of like Rita Moreno and Whoopi Goldberg, Chris O'Dowd, Alan Cummings, Adam Brody, Diane Weist, Ian McShane, Jackie Earl Haley, Judy Greer, all along the way. I do feel like some of like the these this is definitely has more bigger names than any of Cartoon Saloon's films up to this point, and it does get a little distracting and make it feel a little less special because I feel like the voice casting in the other films are so pitch perfect especially for like their settings, that this feels just a little bit like, oh, what celebrities can we get to throw in here in terms of voice acting? But I might be throwing a lot of negatives out here, but here's the thing. I still really, really, really like this film a lot. I still feel like it stands above a lot of other things that I've watched. It's just, compared to Cartoon Saloon, who usually hits home run after home run, dingers and dingers and dingers, this one feels a little bit more like a triple, which is still amazing and we like it, but it does have some elements that make it feel a little bit lacking. But in general, this is a sweet, beautifully animated, and moving story worth the time. And those are my thoughts on My Father's Dragon. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.